part 12 of the 83rd Wires, and it's Dom from Black Toast Studios. So, this week I have been painting up my blood letters. So, I've got a lovely squad of 10 here that I've been doing. They've been on the 32mm bases, which is quite nice. Um, I haven't really done any 32mm bases myself, but I'm really really like how these guys kind of look on them, they're quite, uh, quite nice, gives them a nice bit of area to move around in, a nice bit of posing there, makes them all very, very tasty here. So these guys have loved painting blood letters before, it's such a simple paint scheme I do on them. Um, basically, you um, black undercoat, corn red, um, wash, um, wash it down, then dry brushing it on, uh, what was it? Boo 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 boo. Was Daka red? Maybe was Daka red? I think is it? Yeah. And then putting a like a highlight in the greys there on onto the blacks. Um, got bronze sword there. Bit of blood for the blood gun on there. And uh, yeah, it's very very basic over here how I do it. I don't really do pink tutorials. Um, but yeah, if if I did, they would be really short and really bad. But that is my uh, my ten blood letters I've done this week. Um, to add to my current amount, which I think is 49 blood letters I've got at the moment. Um, I've just done an overall collection video of my chaos, and um, yeah, absolutely awesome, guys. So I'll put a link um, below if this goes out um, afterwards, and uh, go check them out, guys. Go have a look at my chaos force. But yeah, this is what I've got painted. Um, really enjoy painting these guys. It's such an easy little paint scheme. Also for the tongues, um, so I do the blood for the blood god. Yeah, well, this sounds probably better. Blood for the blood god, and then I, uh, sorry, put corn red, and then put blood for the blood god. So I've got like a shiny effect on there, and um, yeah, look quite cool, I think. So there are my blood letters. Well, let's have a look to see what I will be painting next in these glorious videos. Right, so next on the paint station, I've got a big blob of uh, Chaos Cultists, as I lovingly refer to them as scum. They will be adding to my force here. So currently I've also, I've currently got, I think, uh, 36 cultists in my army, and I would drastically want to increase that dramatically. So this is the first stage of the cultist reinforcements here. And hopefully in the future I'll be running the Lost and Damned formation, so they will be flooding the battlefield and reappearing, hopefully when they're dead. And it kind of really fits, I think, with the 83rd um, War Host, with the word bearers especially, that they'll be utilising the basic low lives and the scum on the, uh, on the battlefield to take in some enemy fire and to lock units in and then just keep flooding back on and be a constant pain as the rest of the force are kind of on the board, claiming objectives and taking out some more high priority targets while these guys are just doing their job and getting shot and wasting enemy ammunition. So yeah, that's basically what I'm, uh, I'll am i be doing. It might take a bit longer than normal, but I'm, I'm looking forward to painting these guys because I really like the cultist models, even though obviously there's quite a few uh, repetition ones. I spit at the front here, I've just noticed like, these two are next to each other, these two are next to each other. Um, those two, all those three are next to each other. Oh dear. So there's a lot of uh, repetition models, but obviously I'll be split, splitting them up in normal games so you don't see them next to each other. Well, they, they are chaos, so possibly, you know, gods have got funny ways of doing things. Putting twins and triplets next to each other. So that's what I'll be painting. Looking forward to doing these guys. I'm really looking forward to getting lots of cultists on the board and being... Um, making it as fluffy as I possibly can with the word bearers. Also, with demon princes summoning more um, more demons onto the board and really filling it full of models and making it look really nice. So that is what I'm going to paint. Um, I did get a uh, request before to see the whole 83rd war host in um, in all its glory. So what I'll show you now is the um, word bearer element of my 83rd war host. Um, to see the rest of the other parts, so Khan's um, World Eaters and the Corn Demon Kin, click on the link below and you've got my full army video there. And um, yeah, take it all in guys, it's all good stuff. So let's have a look at the word bearer element of my army. Right, so here we are guys. This is not at all the completed army. 
that is the current force for the 83rd Warhouse, the word bearers in particular. So at the front here we have got the Vulture. The Vulture of course is the leader of the whole Warhouse here. And um, very charismatic, lots of followers are joining him from all across the Chaos Legions. And uh, the Lost and the Damned also flocking to his side. So in here you've got a squad of Raptors with the Mark of Slinish. And they are his acting bodyguards. Because here we've got another squad of Raptors with two melter guns. Another squad of Raptors with two melter guns. Some warp talons here. We've got a big squad of 10 Havocs in the centre here. These are just 10 Havocs for now. Normally they wouldn't run 10, but just put a 5 minutes. And it's going to be two 10 Chaos Marines in the Lamb Raider there. This squad's got two Flamers, a uh, Plasma Pistol and a Power Sword on Champion. Also the squad on the Bolt Guns, Bolt Pistols and Combat Weapons. And over here we have got a Cabal, so free Sorcerers there, level 3 normally, just get the warp charges up and the ability. And back there we've got two Hellbricks with Bale Flamers. There we have got the three Knights, um, so each one differently, we've got the Combat Knight here with an anti-air gun on top. We have got the Knight with a the Thermal Cannon there. We've got the Knight that is probably featured mostly in the channel with the Gatling Cannon and Battle Cannon, also the missiles there. We have got the Sakara, we have got the Mauler Fiend, and finally we have got the Cultists down here. So as I said, we've got plans to expand the force. Um, we could be putting a lot more Cultists in. Hopefully we're going to be making that a very big, formidable force. We've got a few more Raptor squads to put in, so this, squad, this is going to get bigger as well. I really want to put more basic Chaos Marines in as well. I've got kind of an addiction for chaos at the moment and I want to get in at least another 10 chaos marines at least 10 more chaos marines and finally we've got two demon princes at the front here so two demon princes are constant they both achieve demonhood and really cannot be bothered with the uh, the lower aspects of their uh, their being so they just go around summoning more demons for Lorgar and for the chaos to kind of rip through into reality so that is my force so far i hope you all like it it's kind of um been building as you guys have been watching and supporting me so really thanks a lot for watching these videos there you guys i might not have the motivation to keep going but uh, yeah i'm really enjoying this army so far and of the course that will be constantly appearing on the channel my labor of love so if you guys have enjoyed this please put a comment and uh, a like below if you haven't already subscribe and um guys we've got some great stuff for the channel coming up i really hope you uh, enjoy it all i know me, myself and tom have really enjoyed it so far and uh, big stuff for the future so this is dom from black toast videos thank you very much for watching take care